so I'm on an all-out war to get the pill bugs down to a healthy population in my flower beds. I realize and I know that pill bugs are important to a healthy ecosystem ecosystem but when they start eating all your seedlings there's just too many and my goal is not to eradicate them all it's just to bring the numbers down so that I can actually grow some food in my boxes so I'm gonna try three different traps first trap I got these at the Dollar Tree I thought they'd make perfect little traps to put in the soil line and they have lids so my cats will not drink them and I'll just put holes in the top and we will fill them with this Okay, I'm done with the bigger traps right here. I've got 12. I'm going to put two per box that needs it. Okay, my next trap I'm going to make, I got these and cornmeal. They say if peel bugs eat the cornmeal, it kills them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put holes in the side, put cornmeal inside these. And in case it rains or whatever, it will be okay. All right, let's do this. I really wish I had a hole punch. Life would be so much easier. Alright, let's do it. Like, seriously, my friends, I rarely have a free night. This is not how I want to spend my Saturday night. <laughs> but that's how insistent I am to get rid of these things. I'm planning on planting out my all my seedlings that are sitting at the window here. I've been hardening them off for three days. They spent six hours outside today and I want to get them planted. I don't want them destroyed by the pill bugs. All right people I'm almost done and I'm just exhausted today <laughs> but the potato trap is next. So I got a couple potatoes and I'm going to try that. Then we're going to get all these out and we're going to see tomorrow morning which one of these work best? All right, let's cut the sucker in half. Okay. All right, I'm done making these three traps. Now let's take them out and place them and we'll see which one of these do best. This project's taking too long, but I'm losing light, so we gotta hurry. Here's all our goodies, let's get them set out. I'm gonna put one of these boxes in each of the boxes that I have seedlings in. We're just going to set her in there and kind of squeeze her to the ground so she's level with the soil. There we go. This is so that the rain can't get in and those little boogers right there. The little cats over there. Where is it? I don't know. So I'm going to make it soil level. I'm gonna push this up. Kind of put it over here and trick them a little. Oops. All right, let's see what it does. Set up a potato trap. You can see it rained tonight, so the diatomaceous earth is useless now. I'm gonna set up this potato trap. Some people said if you put a piece of cardboard and then a little bit of soil on top and then put the potato on top like that so it's easier to clean up when they get on it okay so we've got that one all right all the traps are set this is what it looks like I got the two beer traps the corn meal traps and the potato traps doesn't look too beautiful but we'll see tomorrow how this works they're in all the beds where I have seedlings about to pop up. And next up, tomorrow, or maybe I'll wait till the next day, I'm planting new green beans since these ones look terrible.